us. All right, now we talked this morning, you heard from Frank Jacks, the, the CEO of Chromadax, and he talked a little bit about the buzz around the products, but we wanted you to hear from a doctor who actually believes so much in these products that he will not let his patients do without them. And so I'm very, very pleased to introduce him. I met him actually last night for the first time. And he's going to do some ongoing training with us. But he's truly dedicated his life to health and wellness. David Leonardi, MD, he's board certified in anti-aging medicine. He's also a certified nutrition specialist. He's the founder of the Leonardi Institute. And the Leonardi Institute has some of the most effective programs in the world to slow aging and prevent age-related disease. He is actually an accomplished author. He's written two books. One is actually about Alzheimer's. But the second one, and most relevant, it's in process. It's called No One Dies of Old Age. The ultimate program for vitality and longevity. He is going to talk to you about why the high five products work. So please join me and give a five links welcome to Dr. David Leonardi. High five links. I'm so happy to be here. I am so excited for you people because I am incredibly enthusiastic about the products that you have before you right now. In my 16 years of struggling and working to stay on the cutting edge of vitality and longevity medicine, I can honestly tell you that these are two of the most technologically advanced products, and I'm talking about High Five Edge and High Five Boost, that have ever come to the market. Yeah. And I'm not blowing smoke. Let me explain. Aging can be effectively defined as a loss of form and a loss of function over time. Now, I'm 62 years old. Even, even though I'm healthy and I take care of myself, I'm not the same person I was when I was 29. I'm not the same physically, mentally, sexually, or emotionally. Aging is also characterized by an increased susceptibility to age-related diseases, heart attack, stroke, obesity and diabetes, cancer, Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, osteoporosis. These are the things that if we're fortunate enough not to get hit by a bus, that kill us. Now, I'm 62, and in the first 59 years while I was aging, the progress in aging was extremely slow. At least it appeared that way. It appeared that nothing was getting done. But during that five or six decades, scientists were working away, digging away at scientific studies looking for little pieces of data, little pieces of the puzzle that could be put together that made sense. And what happens in science is seemingly nothing really evolves until the puzzle is almost fully assembled. And then, once it's almost assembled, that one extra piece of data can be plugged into that puzzle and there's an explosion of information. And that's exactly what's happened in our understanding of the aging process just in the last three years. In the last three years, it's been discovered and proven that the cause of aging is a decline in a single compound in the nucleus of our cells, all the cells of our body, called NAD. 
And in the last, th and NAD levels decline starting at age 29, and they continue to decline throughout life until we die. And in the last three years, it's also been proven that we can replenish NAD in the nucleus of our cells with a single compound that you now have at your fingertips called nicotinamide riboside, the active ingredient in High Five Edge. And let me tell you something. Scientists have been doing this research for 60 years to determine the pathway to slow aging. Why? So they can develop a drug to solve the aging process. And then a drug company can come out with a multi-billion dollar compound that's prescription that they can then make a fortune on. Well, it turns out that the compound, nicotinamide riboside, is nothing other than a special form of vitamin B3. So since it's natural, the drug companies didn't get it. You got it. How cool is that? I mean, that just is, what an incredible piece of luck. So I hope I can get across to you the importance of this compound. I'm gonna to try to do that. Um, so, high five edge increases NAD levels. So what, what does that do? Well, by increasing NAD levels, it literally slows the aging process. But what's more important for me, it reverses many of the aspects of aging as we understand them today. So, um, I've got a little bit of bad news for you and a little bit of good news. I'm gonna give you the good news first. The good news is since the science is so new, hardly anybody in the world knows about this product. And so now you have it and you've got the whole world waiting to hear about it. What an incredible opportunity. The bad news is that since the science is still very young, all the studies we have to show that High Five Edge works have been done in mice. Mice, you say? Mice? Come on, I don't care what it does to mice, I'm human, and I don't look like that. But let me tell you something about mice. This science started studying single-celled plants called yeast, and then it graduated to tiny worms called nematodes, and then the science of aging went up to big time, to flies. And then when they could extend lifespan in flies, they went to mice. Well, mice are pretty advanced organisms in the greater scheme of things. They are mammals like us. They, they birth their young live, and they nurse them just like we do. But more importantly, the biochemistry of aging at the cellular and molecular level in mice is identical to the biochemistry of aging in humans. The same chemical reactions, the same biochemical pathways. So mice are a perfect organism to study. Now human studies are currently underway. Nicotinamide riboside has only been around for about a year available for study. So it's now being used in a number of universities around the world and, and scientists are clamoring to get their hands on it. So there's gonna be an enormous amount of data coming out over the next several years to support what you're already selling. So let's take a look at some of this science in mice and I can tell you as somewhat of an expert in this field that my opinion is that all these things will fully be borne out in humans once the studies are done, because the biochemistry is the same. So, high five edge definitely boosts NAD levels in the cell. And that's critically important because that sets off a whole series of chemical events, chemical reactions, um, names and uh, chemical names that you don't even want to hear. But it culminates in an increased size and density of factories in our cells that produce energy. Energy called ATP. That's an important uh, term for you to know, ATP. ATP is what we burn for energy, just like your car burns gasoline. We burn ATP. And as we age, 
NAD levels drop and ATP levels drop, and that leaves us susceptible to disease and changes our form and function. But when we replenish NAD, we replenish ATP. And that, in turn, reduces a large number of destructive processes that promote age-related diseases. Things like oxidative stress, glycation, inflammation, bad things, insulin resistance. So as our ATP levels go up in our cells, it improves muscle endurance. When I started taking nicotinamide riboside, within two weeks, my aerobic capacity went up 20%. I'm now doing workouts that I couldn't do 15 years ago. Don't congratulate me, this is your product that did this. So reducing insulin resistance undermines the very cause of type 2 diabetes. Now, type 2 diabetes now affects 10% of the population. Nicotinamide riboside, high 5 edge, also boosts metabolic rate, which accelerates fat burning. How cool is that? In fact, mice that were fed a high fat diet gained 60% less weight if they took EDGE compared to mice that did not take EDGE. Now, that doesn't mean that you give people EDGE and say, hey, eat a supersize me meal plan, right? We all know that. EDGE should be used in the context of low glycemic, healthy nutrition, moderate protein, lots of green vegetables, avoiding sweets and starches, things that spike blood sugar, that promote age-related diseases, and plenty of exercise. The more, the merrier. Now, there's another very important aspect of High Five Edge. I'm not sure if you heard about this or not, but it's very brain protective. So here's a study done in mice, and brains are made of nerve cells, which scientists call neurons. And this is a study of neurons. Now, when you look at this slide, look at the bottom row and the top row. I want you to compare the two. What the scientists did were they grew neurons in a tissue culture, and then they literally cut them, they sliced them. And they, they followed them with electron micrographs, high-intensity pictures, over 72 hours to see how long the cells survived. And if you look at the bottom row, that's the control group. Those are the ones that did not have edge as an advantage. They had all the regular nutrients that they need to support life, but after 72 hours of being cut, you can see in that last box on the far right, there's hardly a nerve cell left. The top row represents the cells, the neurons that were incubated in edge for 24 hours before they were cut. So they had the opportunity to increase their NAD and increase their ATP. And look at how many of them were left after 72 hours. Compare the box on the top right to the box on the bottom right at least a 95% difference. Now, if EDGE can do that for neurons that have been cut, imagine what it does for living neurons in your brain. And speaking of living neurons, here's another study for you. A study of Alzheimer's disease in mice. Now, these are mice that are bred to develop Alzheimer's disease. And High Five Edge slowed the progression of the disease and, re and retained the intellectual function of the mice that received High Five Edge compared to those that did not. And that was statistically significant according to the scientists that did the study. So when I looked at this data, I, when I started reading these studies, I was late to the party. I didn't start seeing this information until January. But when I read the first study, I was intrigued and I started looking at related studies, and I, over three weeks, I just devoured all this literature, because this is one of the most prominent things that's happened to me in the 16 years I've been in this field. And when I finally got my head around this, the first thing I did was I ordered the product. And at the same time, I sent a newsletter to all my patients to get as many of them taking this product as I could as soon as possible. Because look at it from my perspective. My job is to keep people healthy, keep them vital, 
and extend their life as long as possible. This product, Hi5 Edge, allows me to keep me and my patients on the cutting edge of vitality and longevity medicine. So with that in mind, I wanted to say a few things about High 5 Boost. Um, so High 5 Boost, as you know, is a co-crystal of pterostilbene and caffeine. And um, that's, a, that's a great thing because pterostilbene alters the absorption of the caffeine, it increases it by 30%, and it slows the absorption so it prevents the jitters. At the same time, it increases the absorption by 30% so you can use less caffeine and get more effect. I think most importantly, it slows the degradation or the breakdown of the caffeine so that the duration of benefit is extended by about 50%. So for our energy, with this product, High 5 Boost is now six hour energy. And because it slows the degradation, it, it takes you down nice and gently so you don't get that post-caffeine crash. Very, very important characteristics of a very unique product. And you can't get this unless you have this co-crystal. Now, there's one problem here. Pterostilbene is insulted. Pterostilbene is not happy with its reputation of altering the metabolism of caffeine. It says, look, I was put in this planet for a much higher purpose than to alter caffeine absorption. In fact, pterostilbene is a close cousin to a compound called resveratrol, responsible for the French paradox. How many people have heard of resveratrol and its health benefits? Could I just get a show of hands? Okay, quite a few. So the French paradox is a situation where the French smoke more cigarettes than we do, and they eat more saturated fat than we do, but they have fewer heart attacks. What's up with that? It turns out that those French buggers eat, drink a lot of red wine, and red wine contains resveratrol. So this led to a bunch of studies on resveratrol, which determined that resveratrol has a number of anti-aging benefits. It's helpful in preserving the cardiovascular system and preventing heart attacks and even cancers. Well, pterostilbene, as a close cousin to resveratrol, shares many of the same attribute, attributes, but it's a bit less studied. Again, the science is somewhat young. So, the nice thing about pterostilbene is it's absorbed more effectively than resveratrol. And even more importantly, it stays in the bloodstream longer. One of the biggest problems with resveratrol that limit its benefit is that it's quickly metabolized by the liver and gotten rid of. But pterostilbene stays, stays around longer. So, like resveratrol, it's an antioxidant, which is very important for health. Now, um, let me show you another study on pterostilbene. This cute little guy, um, I got $100,000 from PetSmart to use this slide because they know they're going to sell a lot more hamsters after everybody sees this. So, not really. So, in hamsters with high cholesterol, pterostilbene all by itself lowered their blood sugar, lowered their bad cholesterol, and raised their good cholesterol. And because of that, human studies are now underway. In addition, pterostilbene helps to maintain healthy blood pressure. In addition to that, pterostilbene may be very effective in fighting cancer. So there are test tube studies. Now listen carefully, because this is, thank you. Listen carefully, because this is an important distinction to make. Pterostilbene has, shown, has been shown to have anti-cancer activity in test tube studies. That's very preliminary science. It's great news, and it makes me want to take the product. But it doesn't allow us to tell people that pterostilbene prevents cancer, or pterostilbene is a treatment for cancer, or cures cancer. The FDA will be all over us if we do that. But what we can say is that pterostilbene in test tube studies 
has anti-cancer activity. That you can say, and there are studies that bear that out. You can even have a brochure, and you can list the studies right underneath it. So that's a very important concept. So as you can see, there, there's a reason why terastilbene is insulted by being famous for altering caffeine absorption and duration, because it's got all these other attributes that are now at your fingertips with High Five Boost. What an incredible opportunity. So you've got in your hands products that are virtually unknown to the public, that have enormous health benefits, and you've got the ability to spread the word to improve people's health, people's quality of life, and the length of their life. I can't think of a better way to make money than by improving people's quality and length of life. And I hope I've been able to give you a little bit of information today to help you do that. Thank you very much. Thank you.